Local Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. An active overnight in the Wabash Valley and still this morning we're continuing to see more rain kind of following that same path, which is why once again we anticipated some heavy rainfall because we've got a boundary that literally is draped across our area this morning and along it this plume of moisture just continues to filter across the region. As we take a look at our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, you can see some areas now off to the north are getting a break from the rain. Lighter showers falling between I-70 and I-74 here for some of our northeastern sections. But as you get along and south of I-70, there's been certainly some moderate rains coming down through the overnight hours, which is why as we were heading to break, I said, please be careful. Because in these areas, I do think you're going to find some ponding on area roads right now, especially where we see some of this more moderate rain falling, which is here at our studios. Again, we saw some of this a little bit ago. Now we're seeing some of those rains heavier across Sullivan County into parts of Clay County here, northern Owen County seeing some of the showers heavier and extending back down around the only area this morning. This is where some of the more moderate rain showers are coming down. The flood watch includes those areas we just talked about. Through Saturday morning, these areas are going to continue to be the hardest hit when it comes to heavier amounts of rain. And Futurecast does a pretty nice job of telling us that same story. It's not that you haven't had rain off to the north or that you're not going to see more rain, but some of those heavier totals are going to be in southern areas. So we'll kick that rain out as we go through the middle part of the day, but later tonight into early tomorrow, you saw yet another round coming through. Breaks in the clouds come later Saturday. Saturday night, we'll see some clearing, and on Sunday, Sunday will actually get some sunshine back around here, which I'm sure everybody's going to be glad to see. Now, winds right now are coming in out of the northeast, so that indicates that boundary is just off to the south here. Winds are at about 10 miles per hour, but these winds are going to be changing and they're going to be picking up speed on us as we go through the night tonight now, 7 p.m. this evening. Again, we see that northeast wind coming down with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Saturday morning, this main low pressure is going to be kicking through just north of our area. That's going to bring in a wind shift, but look at these wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour. I'm telling you, Saturday is going to start pretty windy out there. We'll see the winds change direction and we'll see them lighten up by Sunday. As far as temperatures, go this morning? Well, it's 20 degrees colder than where we were yesterday morning. But again, remember yesterday how mild we were. So temperatures right now, upper 30s to the north, low to mid 40s to the south. You can just see right where that boundary is located. There's cooler air off to the north, and as we go through the day today, kind of we keep these temperatures relatively steady. They don't change a whole lot throughout the day. As we go into Saturday morning, they actually warm briefly as the low lifts through, but then they turn colder by Saturday afternoon and by Sunday morning, much colder as we get down to near the freezing mark. Today's temperatures relatively steady with rain and a few thunderstorms. Again, a break through the middle part of the day, but we're not done. More rain later tonight that could be heavy at times once again, maybe a few thunderstorms embedded there. Showers will end early Saturday. Sunday, some sunshine and a high of around 58 degrees. Some clouds early next week. Seasonable temperatures middle of next week running in the low to mid 50s. All right. Thank you so much, Julie. Well,